Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the next episode of Tutorial Tuesday. And in today's episode, I am going to show you how to do quick and easy chroma key in DaVinci Resolve 15. If you have any questions on anything I go over in this video, leave those down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I put up another tutorial next Tuesday. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we have the media loaded in. So basically what I want to do is I want to take this footage of me uh, against the green screen and superimpose it over this background footage, but obviously I want to get rid of the green screen. So I am going to take just a section of the base video here and then um, take my video. Let's just cut a section out of here as well. Lay that over there. I want to get just the video part and I'm going to put it on a track above the other video. So let's do that and then I'm just going to get rid of some of this just for the purposes of the tutorial here. So now we have that green screen footage on top of the other footage and we want to get rid of the green screen. Now there's a few different ways to go about this. The way I'm going to show you right now is probably the easiest in my opinion. So if we go into the color tab, I'm going to add another node here. That just adds a, a separate node off of the primary node. And what I want to do is basically get rid of the screen screen. So I'm going to make sure that we are on the qualifier uh, section here and switch this to 3D. Now this is going to allow us to just click and drag and draw out some of that green. Some of the green over here is darker, so we want to get rid of that. Now you can see this node up here, it's showing that it's getting rid of us, but leaving the green screen, which we want to do the opposite. So we can flip that around but we still can't see it in the main window. Right now, Resolve doesn't know what to do with that data. It's, we're telling it we want to get rid of the green screen, but it doesn't know what to do with that data and how to show us that. So what we need to do is add an alpha output. I just clicked on the background in the node area here, add an alpha output, it added this little blue dot, and then we can drag this and connect it to there. And now we can see our background show up behind there. Now, if we zoom in a little bit here, Let's go about 50% and we can see that there's some green around the edges here. It's not completely clean. Real easy way to get rid of a good portion of that is hit this despill button. And you can see that got rid of a lot of that green and it's actually looking pretty good. We can mess with the clean white and clean black if we want to, you know, clean that up a little more, but to me it's looking pretty good right now. So now we want to go back to Fusion, go into the inspector, make sure we have this node selected, and we're going to shrink it down and put it in the corner. But watch what happens. When we start shrinking it down, it starts getting rid of the rest of it, or the background piece that we wanted to keep. But we're going to fix that in just a second. So we're going to move this into the corner. So what we want to do here is go back into the color tab and go into our Windows option here and just select a square window. Now if we zoom out, we can see that square window that is just around a portion of our face. We want to make that bigger. What we want to do is zoom in, go over here, and then just bring these down so that they're not feathering at all. And then adjust it. And we basically just want to make it the size of that box. All right. And there we have it. If we go to fit, we can see we, I am down in the corner now. And if we go back and play now, if you notice here, we didn't quite get that right. There's a little bit of black showing in there. And that's because I raised that border a little too high. So if we go into color and just bring that back down a little bit and then go back into edit. So now we can see that's gone, fit it to the screen, play our video. And now that video portion of the video is superimposed. Now, if the two pieces of video are the same size and you're not resizing it, you don't need to do that whole extra step with the window, but because this wasn't, and we wanted to make it smaller, we had to do that to get the rest of the image to show up. 
All right, so as I mentioned, that is just one way to go about chroma keying, but it's the way that I find the fastest and easiest and the way that I use in pretty much all of my videos, this one included. Hopefully you found this useful and informative. Please hit that subscribe button to get notified when I put up another one of these tutorials next Tuesday and do my normal tech videos on Sunday. Hey, come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people on there and chatting with them, and I'll see you in the next video.